situation that happened to me, well, it didn't really happen to me, but I kind of pictured it happen. I was kind of there in the moment. And uh, anyway, it's called Nigga or Black Man. The situation manifested itself today at a gas station. Man pulls up to a pump to obtain some petrol. Because if he doesn't get any petrol, then his auto can't go any further. If the auto can't go further, then he can't get to work. And if he can't get to work, then he can't make no money. And if he can't make no money, then he can't pay his bills. And if he can't pay his bills, then he won't have a place to live. And moving back into his parents' home is not what he wants to do. So petrol for his auto is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, as simple as this is, there would be times that threaten this concept such as the homie who just put, finished put, <clears throat> such as the homie who just finishing who's just finishing up with his daily three dollar fill up of his 1990 crown victoria with the two thousand dollar rims and four thousand dollar booming system in the trunk and he wonders why he only has three dollars to pour into his tank <laughs> now he's ready to pull away but he can because he was in a rush and pulled up to the first available pump instead of the last of three available empty pumps. At which time now someone has pulled up in front of him trying to get petrol into their auto. Now turning what could have been a simple task into a fuck you, you dumb motherfucking asshole situation. So cleverly one comes back with something like fuck you too shithead and raise the pot with a kiss my ass. So after a few back and forth words of use of the words fuck and you, out comes a knife. Then again, one raises the pot and pulls out nine. Rat-a-tat-tat and that is that. You done shot three motherfuckers and you don't know why. Now this man who came to get petrol can't get none because he dead. And all because you couldn't keep your mouth shut and just back up out of the way so you could go home. I reckon now you got some time to reflect about your actions sitting in your 3 by 5 cell thinking, why in the hell did I have cappuccino? <laughs> now here's the message to this poem and the point that I'm trying to so cleverly get across. The next time you find yourself in a confrontation, are you going to be a nigga or a black man? Never good enough for me. Why does it seem to be now? They are never here when I need you around. I said that you would always be true. So why you gotta do the little things that you do? I don't understand it. I don't know why. You just make me cry. Why do you push me over and over? Oh